Okay, so I've been meaning to take this stuff to the office. I need to take it to the office because we're running low on inventory, but I have to show you what I found first. I think I'm going to do a video where I show you everything I find this week. This was my first thrift trip this week to the bins and it was a good one and I found some brands that I've never sold before that when I checked comps, they looked really good. So, okay, let's dive into it. Let's begin. The first is a pair of Torrid. This is a brand I love selling. It's just a pair of jean shorts. They are, have a rolled cut off hem, but Torrid doesn't go for a lot. If you watched my what's actually selling video, I went over Torrid, but it does sell quickly, which is why I like to pick it up. Okay, this is a pair of Zara Min black jeans. And I actually really like selling Zara Min's items. I find they sell really well, and these are in excellent condition. Goodwill wanted $14.99 for them, so they ended up at the bins. I mean, this is a brand I had never heard of before. When I checked comps, there weren't a lot of comps, but I'm really excited to see how it does. It is called Fred with two Ds and Bash. You'll see that? And it's this really nice messenger bag. It's got this really soft leather right here. It's got some scratches on it, but I think if we put a little leather conditioner on it, it'll look really good. Or honestly, this kind of little beat up look is, I think, really nice. And then this is like a black canvas and the inside is in excellent condition. Looks like it's like never been used. It's really nice. So I'm excited to see how it is. Really, honestly, when I pick up stuff like this, I'm especially men stuff, I'm typically really surprised about how well it does. There's a lot of men's brands that I've experimented with that sell really fast. So if you want me to do a video on that, let me know in the comments down below. I actually found a good amount of men's items right when I arrived at the bins. These are, this is a brand I've never sold before, but after checking comps, it does really well. Actually, I did check comps and I put it on my Instagram stories. I'll put up comps here, but if you're not following me on Instagram, make sure you do that. I oftentimes share brands I'm coming across that um, I find that do well over on my Instagram stories. But this is a men's pants. The brand is Proof, it's size 33 blue pants. Really nice, really, really nice. Well constructed, you know, little details like these buttons being flat, matte, and have a nice snap, just really good hardware. And then if you see, it's a little stitching along the pocket. And then the quality of the fabric is really nice. So. I guess this is called, oh, this is the Nomad Pant. Just having these little details is a good indicator that it's high quality. And so these should do well. I'm really excited that I found those. I found a few pairs of, I think I pronounced this wrong. I, I in my head, say Bonobos, but I think it's Bonobos. Bonobos, Bonobos jeans. <laughs> This is a men's brand I really like selling. It's actually owned by Walmart now. It, these are 3332. Definitely came from the same person. Athletic fit in excellent condition. Some guy just was like, I'm ready for a wardrobe change and just donated like his entire wardrobe. So snag those. And then another one. These are a darker wash. And like you can tell from the patch that it's like barely been worn. These are also an athletic fit, 3332. It is curious like what type of guy is just like barely wears his clothes and then donates them. Um, these have a little stain on the butt that I need to get out. But saying these are a little bit older style, same Bonobos. Okay, and another pair of men's jeans. I don't think these are from the same person, but they're Paige. I like to pick up Paige, Joe's Jeans, AG, you know, all of those kind of premium denim brands when it comes to men's. These are Federal. Goodwill wanted $24.99 for them. No one was willing to pay that, but hopefully someone's willing to pay me that or more on eBay or Poshmark. So those are in excellent condition. I really like again selling men's jeans i've never sold this before this is athletic girl 
I sold, I think, Aviva for the first time the other day. It was a little dress with a skirt bottom, which was cute. It sold for like 25 on eBay. And so maybe something like that for this. This is a camo romper, gray, size extra, extra large, 16. It's got nice pockets. It's actually a really well-constructed piece. Look, these little ties have like marbling waist tie end and then the pockets are really nice for a kids piece this is really nice it's even got a little mesh pocket inside this if you watch my videos you know that i also buy jeans and athletic wear for my friends i'm going to set that stuff aside because it's kind of the same old stuff. I pick up mainly like Levi's and American Eagle jeans and then some other brands and then athletic wear for them. I'm gonna set this up, sorry. This is Flint and Tinder pair of pants. Flint and Tinder is a brand that sells so fast that I think I've only found it like once or maybe twice and it's sold really fast. This is a pair of blue pants. It's from that same, same guy who donated his whole pants wardrobe. Maybe he gained weight or lost weight. That's a possibility. Anthropology Maeve. This is an older piece, but I decided just to go ahead and pick it up. It's a maxi dress and that's why. Typically with maxi dresses, that's kind of like the one exception I'll make when it comes to older anthropology. That and coats and outerwear. We'll see how this does. If it doesn't do well, I might just be more selective with maxi dresses in the future. I found a few Torrid pieces, which is great. Like I said earlier, I love selling Torrid. This is a two, which is two X, and it's definitely a more spring summery piece, but it's this floral chiffon ruffle neckline, cold shoulder tank, cute. And then I think this one's very similar. Yes, except for it has some lace detailing along the neckline, also a two. These were at Goodwill and no one picked them up. So they ended up at the bins. This is Athleta and it does have some staining, but lucky for me, I know how to stain treat. <laughs> and I did a whole video on it, so I'll link it up on the screen. I'll probably end up saying that like every haul. But this is Athleta, size small. You can see, I think there's like some makeup staining along here. And this is a like, long line sweatshirt. It's almost like a sweatshirt dress. I like Selling Athletic because it's really easy to find the style name because they put the style number in the materials tag. They also put the year it was produced and so that's helpful too in assessing how recent a piece is. Speaking of not being very recent, this is not very recent. This is, what is that called? Boucle knit? Is that how you pronounce it? Free people size large. This is older and the reason I can tell is this tag is like very big. Usually that means it's an older piece. Another way you can determine if uh, Free People is older or newer is if it has an OB number. If it has an OB number on the materials tag, that means it's at least fairly newer. And this doesn't, so I was right. Don't confuse it for a GB number. I don't know, that's not the same. This is in excellent condition. So I decided to go ahead and pick it up, especially since it's winter and sweaters are selling well. I am becoming more and more lenient with what I pick up when it comes to new with tag stuff because I find if it's new with tag, it has a higher resale value and it moves quicker. And so bread and butter brands or mall brands that are new with tag, I'll pick up. So this is Chico's, it's new with tag. And it is this blue stretch jersey fabric and it's a jacket. Good layering piece. Goodwill wanted $14.99 for it. I got it instead. This is frame. I find that frame sweaters do really well. I don't know if this one's going to do well. It's a size large. And it's an off the shoulder short sleeve sweater with this button front and some stripe details along the sleeves and the hem. It's in really good condition. And let's see the material content. It's 46% wool, a nylon acrylic, etc. And it has a style number on there, so it'll be really easy to find. But yeah, I like picking up frame sweaters. This is another brand I like picking up, John Varvatos. It's a men's brand. It doesn't do really well. Like, it retails for a whole lot more than it resells for. But I do find it does sell. And so it, it typically takes a little bit longer, but 
it will sell, especially on eBay. So this is just a button down with the two of those uh, chest pockets. And actually, someone on eBay told me this. John Varvato Star, you see that, is like the diffusion line of John Varvato's. So it's the cheaper version of that brand. So something to keep in mind. This I picked up for maternity consignment. It's just a dress. Another one that was new with tags. I mean, I might have picked it up anyway because it's in excellent condition. But this is Soft Surroundings. It's a size medium and it is new with tags, which is great. Also means it'll be easier to find. It's called the Endivar tunic, retailed for $79.95. It's just this jersey knit high low tunic, shirt, v-neck, this turquoise color, pretty. Soft Surroundings is another bread and butter brand I like selling. Okay, love selling. Lululemon. Whenever I find something like this, I'm like, yay, an easy 40 to 60 bucks. Especially when it is in excellent condition like these are. These are like full length legging of some kind, but I like them especially because they have those side pockets. Let's see what size they are. Size two. They're an older style. You can tell by the size dot. There's a really good, but it's old, Instagram post by I think North north coast reseller I, I don't know I'll, I'll put the post right here and i'll link it down in the description below and it does a good job of informing you about how to read lululemon size dots okay and here is another good pair of leggings these are patagonia these are a heather or space dye gray the patagonia logo on the back there what is the size size small and they are crop legging love selling patagonia but I haven't even gotten to my best piece, my best find from the day. I'm so excited. It was like a find that made my heart skip a beat. It was, you know, it was just one of those magical moments at the bins that keep you going back for more and more. And I love this brand. Okay, well, I'm not there yet. <laughs> but I'm just, I'm just telling you there's something really exciting to come. Oh, it looks like it's actually at the bottom of this bin. Okay, this is a denim brand. I think it's from that same guy, but there's gum on the pocket. I looked it up. This denim brand doesn't necessarily do that well, but I wanted to try it out with this particular pair of men's jeans because I do find sometimes with men's can do better than women's. This is Revtown. And these are good, sturdy, substantial pair of jeans. I got some gum. Okay, I actually might try to sell these because I found a new tag Abercrombie & Fitch dress. I'll put it here at the bins and it sold full price like within 48 hours. So I'm like, hmm, maybe I should be picking up some more recent styles of Abercrombie & Fitch. It was a really recent style. This is a pair of jeans and they're in excellent condition. Mid-rise boyfriend, size 31. Really cute. Typically I would just give my friends Abercrombie & Fitch jeans, but I might try these out for myself or at least check comps and see if I want to try them out. I'm checking the pockets. <gasps> Y'all, I found a dollar. <laughs> Yay! I never find money in pockets. And in fact, Tomas found a ten dollar bill in an asos or how do you pronounce asos us a sauce something i don't know i call it asos jacket but i have never had the privilege i don't think i've ever in my six years of reselling had the privilege of feeling a dollar in a pocket so that was a magical moment for me okay anyways it's just a dollar but wait let me double check was it just a dollar is there more in there no, just a dollar. Mwah. Ooh, this is one of my favorite finds from the day. I think it's in excellent condition. I couldn't find any holes because typically this is riddled in holes. Smart wool. Look at this beautiful wool sweater. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. There's barely any, I don't even see any pilling on here. Like, beautiful. Is it 100% wool? I mean, that's what smart wool is known for. No, it's not. <laughs> it's 52% nylon, 30% wool. Well, it's still beautiful. 
and I think it still should sell really well. Oh, this is a men's brand I like selling, Untuck It. This is a gray checkered shirt. I just started picking this up recently and it's been doing really well. Oh, this was interesting. I actually found three pieces by this, but two of them were in such bad condition I threw them back. This is Louis Vuitton uniforms. I've actually seen this in someone else's haul before, I think. And these are some wide leg pants. Is this what they give their employees to wear? Is that what that means when it says Louis Vuitton uniforms? That's what I'm assuming it means. But that must be, mean they have some nice uniforms because these are really well constructed. But I was like, are these worth anything? I checked comps and apparently it kind of is worth something. So I'm gonna try it out, see how it does. And yeah, maybe I'll report back. Okay, another Lululemon, but this is a much older Lululemon piece, but I still pick it up because a Lululemon old or new will sell for me. Maybe not as much the older stuff, but still will sell. Cause you can tell like that logo is cracked, but this is just an older style. It's this pair of pants, jogger style. It's got a striped black fabric. I don't know if you can see the stripes on there. there. I don't know. Let's see. Let's see. What size is it? Looks very small. Usually it's in the little mesh pocket. Oh, here it is. Four. It's a size four. And that's, and that's another way you can tell it's really old. If it doesn't have any writing along the outside of the sticker, that means it's very old. And I'm sure you all know this, but lulufanatics.com is the best place to find style names and stock photos for Lululemon. Okay, this is something I've never sold before. It's Torrid and it's a bra. And I think it's in excellent condition, so I'm hoping it does well. Goodwill won $4.99 for it. It's a 44 double D. It looks like it's like never been worn. I mean, there's some wrinkling along this just from being at the bins, but it's in excellent condition. So that was a good find. Ooh, this is a really good denim brand. This isn't denim, but if you find this Imogene and Willie, and this is a t-shirt from them, which I've never found anything other than denim from them, but it says Nashville on it. It's really cute, really thick knit t-shirt. Tempted to keep it, but I won't. It's a size large, or will I? It's really nice. I'm gonna check comps on it. If it's if comps aren't doing well, then I'm gonna keep it. But it's really really cute. Anyway, um, J Crew. This is an older piece, but I checked comps, and it seems like this collaboration does well. It's Irish linen by Baird McNutt. Never heard of Baird McNutt, so now I kind of want to look that up, but. Um, this is really nice, 100% linen shirt. It's from spring 2010, so it's really old. But sometimes those older pieces, especially if they're you know unique collaborations, etc., can do well. Okay, I was really on the fence about picking this up, and maybe I shouldn't have, but I think I might. I need to check comps. Maybe I'll take it to Crossroads. It's Rag and Bone, and it actually is new with partial tags but it's a really older style. It's this chevron, cream, brown, and black print. And I don't think this is like the Y2K people are <laughs> going for. Goodwill wanted $14.99 for it, no one paid that. Okay, I looked this up because I'd never heard of it before and comps actually look okay, so I decided to pick it up and try it. That's the beauty of shopping at the bins is you can just try things and experiment. The brand is Anisio. And that says made in Italy down there. And then it's this really nice, I think this is linen. Yeah, 95% linen, 5% cotton. Stripe button down. So that's also a plus. It's got this ribbed contrasting fabric on the side. And it's got these, what is this, iridescent buttons, pearl. So we'll see how that does. I ran into my friend Steven this time, if y'all, he is not active on YouTube anymore, but I was just watching one of his older videos the other day. It's still really useful, Steven C Fashion Guru. I'll link, you know, his video or something up on the screen or in the description, but he gave me a couple pieces, uh, which was really nice. 
and it's so good running into him, but this is one of them. It's Adriana Goldschmied, size medium. It is this cropped blouse, and it's got this cool buckle detail on the back. I wouldn't be surprised if this was sold at Anthropology. Yeah, and it's got this, I think, open back. Isn't that cool? I think that's really cool. I wouldn't be surprised if this was sold at Shop Up as well. Really cute. He also gave me these, which was so nice. I did not have to do that. Now I'm like, let's check the pockets. <laughs> Made well. We all know I love selling Madewell. These are in excellent condition. These are the Road Tripper jeans, size 28 from 2019. Look at the patch, in excellent condition. Um, I really like selling the Road Tripper jean. Thank you, Steven. That was so kind of you. And then I found these Anthropology Chino printed pants. I thought these were really cute. I know these are a little bit old. Probably like, I don't know mid like 2020 i would guess like 2012 or something like that they've got this racing stripe on the side but i just thought these were really cute i didn't check comps or anything but excellent condition goodwill wanted 19.99 for them go home goodwill you're drunk i saw someone post that the other day like yeah that's why the bins are great here oh this is another brand that I found and I checked comps and I saw that some pieces by this brand do really well. So I decided to go ahead and pick this one up and see how it does. It is Miles, M-Y-L-E-S. And this is a sweatshirt and it's really nice too. The drawstrings are really nice. The fabric's really soft. It's got this little logo detail here. So yeah. I'm excited to see how that one does. Okay, should I show you the piece de resistance? Oh gosh, don't tell me it's ripped. <laughs> okay, it's got a Oh no, it's ripped. Well, actually it can be repaired. And the good news is, oh my gosh, this has all kinds of issues. Oh, this is what happens when you just pick up something and you don't even think about it. I can still sell this. I'm gonna have to stain treat it and repair it, but it is not beyond repair okay it's it's not gonna kill my joy the brand is Cezanne maybe one of my top five favorite brands right now and for a long time size 34 look at this beautiful skirt it's still got tons of life left and let me show you the flaws I just saw uh, it's got some white staining here, but it looks like it'll come out. It's got a little hole here. I don't know if you can see that. And then it's got a few runs along the top of the skirt. But it should still sell well, not for as much as I would have without those, but that's fine. And then I think I picked this up for me. I kind of like want a beanie. It's just like, I really like this color. It's a golden brown. It's a Levi's hat. I'm just going to wash it. I think it's a 100% acrylic, so I can just wash it pretty easily. This is dry clean only, but I'm just going to wash it. Um, the last piece is this Eileen Fisher cardigan. Love finding Eileen Fisher. Found this in a new bin. It does have some pilling, so we're going to have to get that sweater shaver out, but it's... I mean, and definitely a piece I didn't want to skip because these will sell really well. So, did I share with y'all what I spent? I spent $59.60 and I got 46.2 pounds, so not too shabby. Plus, I got a dollar already, so I'm already getting a return <laughs> on my investment. Okay, well that does it for this haul. I thought that was a pretty solid haul, if you ask me. But now I'm headed to the bins again. We'll see if I can match it or top it. Probably not, but maybe. I've had better hauls before, you never know. And I'll meet you back here. All right. Okay, time to dive into day two. And then actually we're gonna do day three at the same time. So let's get into it. I found so much good stuff in these two days. I think I found over 40 pounds yesterday. So that was the last day. Uh, this was a couple days ago and I spent $43.09 and I got, what is that, 33.4 pounds. 
so pretty successful trip i actually think the third trip was maybe my best trip gosh i don't even remember that one. <laughs> that was yesterday literally yesterday okay let's start again i'm not going to show you some like all of the pounds of clothes because i buy for my friends and so forth okay first thing is this pair of j crew men's pants um, I actually have pretty good luck selling J. Crew men's, and this is from winter 2019, and they are just a pair of olive green, military green, army green, whatever you want to call it, pants. So hopefully those will be a solid bread and butter piece. Next, I'm excited to sell these. I think these are cute. I didn't check comps or anything, but something I noticed for the past two days is that a lot of the items I came across were from Goodwill, so they just didn't sell at Goodwill. These are anthropology made called the Colette pants and they are really cute wide leg pair of black pants with the little patch pockets on the front and the back and I always think these kind of rounded patch pockets are very 70s and really cute and size 30 so that's a really good size for anthropology. I find that anthropology pants when they're a little bit larger do really well okay here's another pair of mint pants these are I've never seen this uh, tag they're citizens of humanity but just a CFH man and um, these are I guess they're core pants I again did not look up the tag but I, they're in really good condition size 30 and again I really like selling men's premium denim so I'm excited to see how these do and then this is just a really simple free people we the free shirt but I find that sometimes their basics do really well. And I'm sorry if y'all hear the heater in the background. I can't turn it off because it is freezing cold outside. In fact, our mayor issued a state of emergency for how cold it is. So I guess Portland is not used to it getting this cold. I think it's like in the 20s. In Kansas, you know, get that cold all the time, but I think it's especially cold for here. So free people, we the free, size small. It's a cropped fit kind of a high-low hem and it's got this balloon sleeve so i thought that was really cute and in fact maybe i'll put this in my whatnot show if i do end up doing one tomorrow i'm kind of waiting to see how the weather plays out but i'm planning on doing a whatnot show every friday at 4 p.m pacific standard time which is 6 p.m central standard time and 7 p.m eastern standard time this is a really good find, Everlane. I find that their sweaters do especially well. This was at Goodwill for $7.99. Extra small in excellent condition. Really nice. It looks like it's barely been worn, but it is 96% wool. So if it had been worn a lot, I would expect to see a lot of pilling, maybe some shrinkage. But this looks, I mean, virtually brand new. So really happy about that find. It's perfect for this season. This is a new with tag J Crew pant. It is from fall 2022, so it's like from this past season. Really cute pair of pants. They're high rise, size four petite. Should be really easy to list. Good one wanted $12.99 for them, which for new with tag actually isn't that bad. Uh, I probably, if I was in Goodwill, would have checked comps and maybe picked these up for that price, but especially half off because our Goodwills will do half off color tags. But no one wanted them. A lot of people don't go through the pants section at Goodwill, so. <laughs> On the other hand, Goodwill wanted $19.99 for these. Not your daughter's jeans. What? Goodwill, come on. These are size 8, green, corduroy. I love selling this brand just sells consistently for me for around 20 bucks which isn't a lot but if i feel very confident that it will sell then i'll pick it up and sell it for 20 bucks what i don't want is to pick something up that's going to sell for 20 bucks after like 800 days <laughs> like my ship with me video there's like many of those 800 days okay here is another we the free free people piece i actually haven't sold this style in quite a bit but when i did uh, what was it probably like a year ago so it sells really well so i don't know if that's still the case but we'll see it is these skinny high-rise flare like super wide flare pants and these are in brown color size 28 this is a style they put out year after year i again don't know if they're still putting it out but yeah i'm excited to see how those do i need to check comps 
they're in excellent condition, so that's great. Here's another pair of NYDJ size eight again, probably same person, $14.99. Good old one for this one. Jeesh. These are just a pair of green jeans. Nothing good. Here is an Anthropology Marrakesh jacket. It's a camo jacket, utility jacket, army jacket, military jacket, all of the keywords. Again, some patch pockets. You can even use cargo as a keyword on this one. It's in excellent condition, looks good. Okay, I actually looked up comps on this because I found it and I was wondering, should I pick this up? It's definitely something I wouldn't pick up at a regular Goodwill, but came across it, you know, at the bins and it's in excellent condition. So after looking it up, I was like, oh, okay, I'm definitely gonna try it because certain styles are selling for 30 to 40 bucks. I um, mean, it's just an old Anthropology Cartonnier medium black blazer. Oh, this one's actually kind of cute. I didn't realize it has this bell sleeve. Oh, that's kind of cute. All right, I'll have to see how it does, but it's got a hook eye closure in the front. It's this kind of stretch ponty knit material. Yeah, that is really cute. I'll have to see. Just I was just looking at any cartoony black blazer and some of them did better than others. And so I wonder if that's one of the ones that does better because it's definitely got a little bit more of a style element. The wind is <laughs> kicking up. <laughs> okay, here is a pair of Can Can jeans. This is kind of a bread and butter brand that I'll pick up at the bins. I definitely won't pay up for it any other way. But size 28, skinny, dark wash. Got these three buttons here, that's interesting. High rise fit. This is a brand that is sold at places like Revolve and Shop Bop and for whatever reason, these pieces can sell for a lot of money. In this particular style, the only ones on Poshmark were new with tag, and people were asking like, I think like around 50 bucks. Nation LTD Limited. Not all pieces by this brand are gonna do well, but it's definitely worth picking up if you come across it at the bins. This is just a smocked crop top tank, the square neckline, the tie closures on the straps. Super cute. Um, definitely a really versatile piece. You can wear that like a million different ways, but yeah, but that was worth picking up and trying out. This is a brand I've been picking up more at the bins, Tommy Bahama. This is just a men's swimsuit, and I think, you know, thinking about spring already, I think that's a good idea as resellers because it'll be here before we know it, and if we have good inventory, especially swimsuits and stuff, then we'll be good to go. Spring is my most profitable season usually, and the fall is my second most, so I definitely want to make sure that I have inventory ready going into it. But this is just a men's excellent condition pair of swim trunks. Go to a one in $14.99 for them. Which is insane. Okay. And then these are made well. I actually don't know how recent they are. I was thinking like if I don't want to sell them, I can take them into Crossroads. But they are size medium. They're kind of a crepe wide leg cropped pant with an elastic waist. So the materials tag has been cut out and, along with the style number. So I don't know exactly what season they're from or anything, but it might be worth just trying out and selling them. Okay, this is another brand I like picking up these days, Prana. And this is a surplus neckline faux wrap dress. I guess it's not a faux wrap, it's like a twist. We will want it $12.99 for this. Good stretch material. I think I love about selling Prana is the style number is just always on the materials tag, except for on this one, of course. <laughs> except for on this one. This must be an older style because it does not have that style number on it, but that's fine. We can still sell it. Okay, I was actually really excited about these. Speaking of spring, these will be great to get listed for spring. These are Athleta Cabo Linen Wide Leg Pants. I've, I'm figuring out. If on the Athleta tag it says the style name underneath the word Athleta, then 
you know it's a more recent piece. And so whenever I see that at the bins, I get very excited uh, because here, let's see how recent this is. Spring 2021, so that's really pretty recent. Is there a size six in there? 100% linen. We love to see it, yay! Love this, they've got those zipper pockets, drawstring waist, elastic waist. Great, great find. I'm very happy. I love selling Athleta, especially certain pieces, especially pants. And I think, I want to check comps on these, but I think they should do really well. This is one of my favorite finds of the day, actually. I found this Lulu's dress. Oh, there you go. Size small. This lace overlay, really pretty. It's got this cap sleeve. It kind of goes lower in the back, which is pretty. A sheath dress, midi length or knee length, pretty. Found another Lulu's dress. This is a yellow dress with a square neckline and a cutout of the back tie. It looks mustard yellow in the my viewfinder here, but it's really kind of a true yellow. I guess it's got a little mustard going on, but it's not as orange as it's coming across for me anyway. This is an extra small, Goodwill wanted $7.99 for it. And no one wanted it for that, but it's really cute. This I picked up to take to Crossroads, even though if you all watched my last Crossroads video, which I'll link up on the screen in case you didn't, one of my takeaways was that they weren't accepting John Galt for whatever reason, but they were accepting Brandy Melville. But this being a sweater, John, I decided to go ahead and pick it up. It's an Argyle cropped sweater. I think they'll still be picking up cropped pieces. I kind of want to go into Crossroads like today or tomorrow, so I don't have a ton of stuff to take to them, but I'm just itching to get there for some reason. I feel like I should follow that intuition <laughs> and go. So hopefully I have good luck there when I go there next, but all right, I, next bin. I found this tape dispenser, which these are actually kind of expensive if you want one. Well, I mean, they're not expensive, but for a tape dispenser, they're kind of expensive. I need to clean this one up. These are really, really, really nice and a, such a really good investment for your uh, business. Other tape dispensers that I've tried that have been just as expensive, like ones I bought at Target, have been awful. But this one is such a time saver. You don't have to fuss with tape. It just dispenses it really well. It's a heavier grip, so it just is easy to tape things with. Yeah, I found one at the bin, so I decided to go ahead and pick it up. But if you want one, you can find it in my Amazon shop. And if you ever, like, where's your Amazon shop, you can just Google Amazon Moby Beth and it will come up. It's just a kind of storefront where I list all the things that I like to have for my reselling business. But yeah, this was a good find. Okay, this was a brand, oh no, this one, I didn't know about. So t comment down below if you've sold this before um, or if you even knew about this brand. But I, I really picked it up because I saw these pockets here and I was like, wow, that is very nice. I've never seen that before. And so I was like, okay, let's check this brand. Also it says designed in USA which isn't always an indicator of quality, but can be. And comps on this brand looked really good. Maybe I'll just throw up some comps here. So I was like, okay, let's try it. The brand is Bobax. Have you heard of it? And these are like a khaki pair of pants. Good for work. Kind of a tapered fit. Let me show you the pockets I was talking about. They've got just these back, you know, patch pockets, like a normal pant, but They've got like this zipper on both of them, zipper pocket within the pocket. That's like higher quality detail. So look that up, looked good. I was very surprised, never heard of this brand. Kind of reminds me of like a beta brand or something. Like, a, you know, just a brand that's really committed to workwear and things you wear to the office that is I think those are women's pants so it's not just strictly men's so yeah i was excited to find those i'm excited to try those out i really really like finding brands at the bins that i've never tried before but i have tried this brand before the shirts do better but i really like selling untuck it i was excited to find these these are really nice again khaki pant i've got well constructed pockets look at, look at these pockets they're just so nice <laughs> you can tell the quality of a garment by their pockets. It's got that mesh lining, it's got this little snap on the pocket. And here's another pocket within a pocket situation in the front pockets. Mesh again. 
really, really nice. This is the kind of stuff. 3530, it's kind of stuff professionals want to wear. Here is another piece I was planning on taking to Crossroads, is Urban Outfitters. Here we go. Urban Outfitters, size medium, polka dot, cropped blouse with that tie detail along the waist. It's oversized kind of bat wing sleeve, but it's got some elastic on it. Front and front, satin like material. I actually meant to not get this, but whatever, it's fine. <laughs> I think it's because I got one recently from the bins and listed it, and I don't think it's doing well at all. But this is current Elliot's. They're old. I mean, y'all, these used to be, if you found one of these, it was so exciting because they used to sell like crazy like five years ago when I started reselling. But now, not so much. Current Elliot's is the old tag. They do the you know vanity sizing 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So I always include a size chart. Uh, but yeah, this is just a striped t-shirt dress. You know, good layering piece, but not gonna garner a huge amount of money these days. Okay, so the last piece I picked up for myself is, this is nice, love selling Lafayette 148. I really love selling it. Sometimes it takes a while to sell. This is a beautiful, let me get it fixed up here, and it's in excellent condition for being this ivory color. Sorry, this beautiful pleated skirt. I think it's wool by the feel of it, size 18, which is also really nice. This is, yeah, 100% wool, so nice. I love selling Lafayette 148, um, like I said. It's just, it's kind of like Eileen Fisher or Acris Punto or Max Mara, like the pieces aren't that exciting. They're not trendy, but they are really well constructed, really retail for a ton of money. And because the target customer base skews a little older, I find that older customers tend to be a little bit less price sensitive. They usually have made a little bit more money than, you know, an 18, 20 year old <laughs> in their lifetime. So they can afford nice clothes like Lafayette 148 and Eileen Fisher, etc. But still don't want to pay the, like, what that, pro that skirt probably retails for like, 400 to 800 or something like that, maybe 300 to 800. So it's definitely understandable that you don't want to pay that price tag, but they're willing to pay, you know, the $70 or something that I will charge for that. So that is everything from that day. Now let's move on to my last and final day three. I think there's some really good things in this one. Although I'm having amnesia clearly because it was just yesterday and I can't remember. <laughs> okay, this time, Yesterday, I found exactly 42 pounds for 54.18. So I actually wasn't there that long when I was heading back. I was calling Matt and he was like, oh, you weren't gone very long. Matt is a saint who watches Billy while I go to the bins. I go about two to three times a week. I try to go three times a week. This week I went three times. And so I got, you know, like 40 pounds twice and 30 pounds another time 30 plus pounds so over 100 pounds of stuff this week which is good all right let's start with this piece this is one of my favorite pieces that i found it's from summer 2020 so it's a pretty recent piece and it is atleta i think this trip was really good this is a cropped really cute jacket windbreaker style it's got this mesh lining it's really 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 cute got this like vented panel in the back i'm really excited to sell that i kind of wish i was keeping it but you know what tis what whoa <laughs> okay that's life okay here's some lululemon leggings i think these are an older style because the size dot here it's just a plain old size dot but Still really cute, really nice. It's got the side pockets, which is really nice. And where's the Lululemon logo? Do, do, do. I don't know why. People in my bins pass on Lululemon a lot. So, I mean, I'm happy. This week, because it's the week preceding the holidays, a lot of teenagers are there, which I like because they're looking for completely different inventory. <laughs> and also they say funny things like, copper drop they're like copper drop <laughs> i don't know i just find it funny um i'm becoming that old person who's like this is what the kids are saying nowadays i was thinking about creating an instagram uh series oh i need to stay and treat this called copper drop 
<laughs> anyway, Athleta size medium. See, okay, so there's a little stain there. It's just dirt. I can get that out pretty easily. Again, if you haven't watched my stain treatment video, make sure you do it. It's a good one. I will put it on the screen. Okay, oh, this was one of the best. All the good ones that are in the front. Well, maybe not. Maybe I had a really good haul and I just am having amnesia. Okay, this is one of the best things I found. I think people confuse this with the Universal Thread, which we saw a lot of yesterday at the bins because it was all from Goodwill and new with tags. Target is Universal Thread. It's not worth a lot. You could actually still, I think, make like 10 bucks, 10 to 15 bucks per piece on it. But this is Universal Standard. Very, very different than Universal Thread. And it is new with tag. Very cool. Size 12, Cien High Rise Distressed Blue, 27 inch denim jean. Wow, what a find. I love selling Universal Standard. Love this company. They do sizing differently. I've talked about it a bunch and yeah, they, I don't know, I'm not even gonna get into it. If you're interested, uh, definitely Google it because it's really cool and there's a bunch of cool interviews with the founders, but great brand, new with tag, love, that kind of that. That was such a cool find and it was in an old, older bin. Okay, this is Kindred Braverly. I talked about this in my maternity and pregnancy video, which if I can, I'll link that up on the screen as well. These are the bras, if y'all are planning on ever breastfeeding, these are the bras I wear, actually. And because the cool thing about these bras, not to go on a side tangent, is that they have one thing comes down and you can pump, and that holds the little pump piece in place really well. And so you can be kind of hands-free. And then it'll come down again and just be for breastfeeding. So uh, it's really nice. This one's in excellent condition. It's a small busty i would keep it but i have enough now and these have the pads and yeah these are really good bras okay this was a really good find i need to stain treat it i can't believe someone didn't pick it up again this is what's making me think like why are people not picking up lululemon at the bins but this is a quilted lululemon quarter zip i actually looked up the style name it's got the lululemon zipper the Lululemon logo. Oh, there it is. The size dot is on here. It's a size eight. Really nice. What is, here, let me just look real quick what the style name is. Lululemon Forever Warm Quarter Zip. It's really, really nice. It's got the thumb holes. Super cute. It does have, I think, some staining on it, but now I can't find it, but I know that it's there. Okay, I, I know they're staining on it, but oh, here's some. Pretty faint, it looks just kind of like dirt, but I can get that out, and then I think there's a little bit more somewhere else. But it was very, very excited to find that. This is one of my favorite kids' brands. I kind of just picked this up to keep, but I'll go ahead and share it with you. Because sometimes if I find it, like a, a bunch of them, I'll lot them up and sell them, especially if they're not in a size that Billy can wear. This is Kate Quinn and size 18 to 24 months. This is a really cute little ribbed lettuce hem baby doll dress. So cute. Oh, it's so cute. Okay, here is a pair of Zara jeans. I think I'm gonna take these to Crossroads. I think they're kind of like brand new because they still have this part of the tag attached. So I think they're in like new condition. Nice. I'll try those out at Crossroads. NYDJ22W. This is the newer tag too, so it's a really good find. These are a cropped green pant. Cute patch pockets on the back. Really good find. I like selling plus size. So I did to sell those. Okay, I picked up a couple of Urban Outfitters pieces to take to Crossroads. This is the first. It is a stripe long sleeve medium t-shirt. It's cute because it's got the pink or kind of lilac trim. And then this is BDG. And again, if they don't take these, I'll just sell all of these. This is a... I always forget what y'all called it. 
<laughs> wide tooth corduroy there's the actual name for it and i can't remember it eileen fisher size small and that's a newer eileen fisher tag and it's i'm pretty sure wool uh 50 tinsel 30 percent wool merino wool 20 percent alpaca so what i'm going to do is i am going to stain treat it because it does have some stains on it there i don't know if you can see and then i'm going to roll it up i talked about this in my video and put it in i'm going to have the stains facing out put it in the um laundry bag that i use and you can find those at the bins or i put some in my amazon storefront thing and it should retain the shape and then after the wash i will just hang dry it and that tends to work really well here is a pair of athleta shorts and again it has the style name right underneath which means it's a newer style but let's try out that theory run with it three and a half inch printed shorts how recent is it summer 2020 so pretty recent this is a brand i put on my list of things that's like not selling and um, actually it's funny because a couple of those items that I talked about that have not been selling for me sold after I put out that video but I decided to pick this up because it's new with tags it's Columbia and Columbia is based here in Portland so I see it all the time but I cannot figure out what sells this is a cold bay to dress it's got the price tag on it Retailed for $49.99. Take off the sales sticker. If you ever find new tag and there's a sales sales sticker on it, always take it off. Okay. But it's actually a really cute dress. It's got this waist tie, so it's adjustable. It's got pockets. I think it has UPF sun protection. So yeah, it's a nice dress. This is a brand I don't pick up at all anymore. In fact, I'm sure it was on a brands I no longer pick up video at some point. And it is Cabby. But this is one of those substantial pieces that I was like, okay, let's check it out. And when I check comps, they actually look pretty good. It's this really big sweater, fringe, poncho. Cute, bohemian, textured. Looks like it looks like you're wearing a blanket, <laughs> which is always cozy and comfortable. And it's a size medium large. So that also made me want to pick it up because larger sizes in cabbie tend to do better. I got some books for billy winnie the pooh stories we'll read tonight getting close to christmas and by the way merry christmas to y'all who celebrate and happy holidays blast off we were talking about christmas books in my first whatnot show and a charlie brown christmas tree okay here is a pair of levi's these are levi's wedgie skinny i won't pay up for the wedgie skinny anymore but um, they, I find they tend to do worse than just the regular wedgie. But these honestly don't feel like a skinny jean. They seem like they're more rigid than that. Yeah, they're 99% cotton, so I'm surprised they're the wedgie skinny fit. But I'll pick them up at the bins for sure. So that was a good find. This is a, I found a couple of Madewell tops. This is a cute little yellow gingham crop top colored blouse. I kind of want, no, I'm not going to keep it. It's cute. This I'm kind of tempted to keep. It's a mustard yellow eyelet wrap blouse. That front tie, so cute. Again, size small. Goodwill one and nine ninety nine for it. Really, really cute. Oh, I decided to go ahead and try to sell these. I really like selling maternity wear. This is Liverpool, which isn't you know a brand to go crazy about, but this is a maternity legging size. 31 so i wanted to go ahead and try it out goodwill wanted how much for it 9.99 oh, i picked this up for crossroads as well it is another john galt well i don't know maybe i haven't learned my lesson yet uh, but this is really cute it's a little crop t-shirt st croix really cute graphic what does that say american paradise u.s virgin islands okay oh this is okay i know about this brand because there is a storefront in new york that i used to go to when i lived there i miss new york so much this is only hearts and it's a really nice expensive lingerie brand i think it's sold at places like urban outfitters etc but this is a new tag bralette so i decided to pick it up i don't know how it's going to do i think i have attempted to sell only hearts a couple of times and they have sold I don't know if there are certain pieces that do better than others, but this I think is a size large is what it says. So it's a really pretty chocolate brown color. This 
a lot of people passed on found it in an older bin because I don't think they knew what it was just looking at it there's nothing in fact you don't even see a brand name until you do when you look really closely really close I don't even know if you're gonna yeah can you see that it says Patagonia on it <laughs> yep size extra large it's very faded so this is my Patagonia piece of the week or did I find one in my first haul I don't remember but love finding Patagonia this is a nice zip up jacket and then we've got these torrid leggings these are interesting I'll always pick up torrid no matter what it is these are a legging with this kind of scale print on it they're in excellent condition this is Prana. I was on the fence about whether or not to pick this up, but Prana's just so easy to sell. This is a recent piece. Prana size small. It's just a sports bra. Since we're always low on inventory, why not? This I picked up to take to Crossroads. It is another Urban Outfitters Silence and Noise. These are like a chef pants. This is black and white gingham. <laughs> we'll see if they accept them. This is a good piece for spring. Billabong. Billabong is a sleeper. It's a, actually a really good bread and butter brand, especially their maxi dresses and their more kind of substantial pieces. This isn't one of those, but it's a cute little romper, strapless with this halter necktie mocked on the front. It's got a cute print on it. So we'll see how that does. Go to one $6.99 for that. I thought this was so cute. Maybe I'll put this in my whatnot show. It's so cute. It's Urban Outfitters. It's a size small. And it is this really precious floral mini dress with that, again, tie halter closure. Really, really, really cute. Very 90s. This is a brand I've picked up a few times and it always sells. Not for a ton of money, but, you know, the outerwear definitely does better. It's NAU, which I don't know now. I think this is a men's because it's a small and it's still fairly big. Maybe it's a women's. It's a striped long sleeve polo. The little patch pocket contrasting trim on the pocket there and on the collar. Here is a pair of can can jeans. Oh, they have a little stain. I need to stain treat it. A good bread and butter piece. Here is a pair of Eileen Fisher Ponty knit leggings, extra small, which isn't great. I don't really have good luck selling extra small Eileen Fisher, but. These are cute. They have that zipper on the ankle that got that cool seam on the thigh. So hopefully we can sell those. This is a brand I haven't sold in a while because I haven't picked it up in quite a while, but I found a couple pieces. Beta brand. I think the resale value has gone down on beta brand. This is a really interesting one. It's this like coral orange color. It's got the nice, it's got a really nice beta brand logo on the side. Got side pockets. Got the stretch pin on the back, zipper pockets in the front. Really well constructed garment, like in very excellent condition. Twelve ninety nine. It's what Goodwill wanted for them. And then I think this actually will do better. This is Beta Brand size large, and this is a skirt, which I've never sold a Beta Brand skirt. So that will be interesting to see how that one does. Oh, I was really excited to find this. It's a good, really good bread and butter piece. It is Lane Bryant, which I've been really enjoying selling Lane Bryant's size 24 but this is a really nice jumpsuit wide leg jumpsuit with a belt still attached which is always good and yeah i was really really happy to find that it should do well hopefully this i guess i'll take this to crossroads as well it is urban outfitters they're just gonna be like you know, all you wear is urban outfitters or something <laughs> and it's this baby doll tiered mini dress with these pearl buttons iridescent buttons on the front. Picked up a lot of good stuff for my friends, so that's always good. Okay, last couple of pieces. I also picked up this bin, which is not necessarily noteworthy. When we, they were rolling out new racks, I saw these Madewell jeans in one of the bins, and for whatever reason, everyone fled that bin. Sometimes people just, there will be an empty bin when there's a new bins rotation, because people don't see anything in there that they want. This Madewell, pair of Madewell jeans were sitting right on top. So I guess a lot of people don't like selling Madewell. Those teenagers, I guess, this isn't their jam. But I do. 
This is a pair of Madewell jeans in excellent condition. They're not the best style. They're nine inch high rise skinny, size 25. Not the best, but they'll still sell at the right price. From fall 2018, you got good distressing on the knee that's not too worn out. And they've got a raw hem, so I love Madewell. And then the last piece is just a, I'm going to just go ahead and sell this one because Crossroads won't take it right now, it's too summery. It is Kimchi Blue, which is Urban Outfitters, size medium. I find that Urban Outfitters does move, gosh, why can't I focus? It does move fairly quickly for me. And it is this embroidered halter neckline maxi dress, pretty. What did Goodwill want for it? $9.99. Okay, well that is everything in the third haul. So thank y'all so much for joining. I had a lot of fun going to the bins this week. I hope you had a lot of fun going through my finds with me. If you like this type of video, be sure to give this video a big old thumbs up. Comment down below what your favorite find from this week was. And subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm trying really hard to put out two videos a week now. So hopefully I can do that. And I'm doing a ship with me video every Monday. So if you like those type of videos, be sure to tune in on Monday. You can see what's actually selling in my reselling business. And again, check out my whatnot show. I'm going to be doing whatnot shows every Friday at 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, which is 6 p.m. Central Standard Time, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So I'd be so happy for you to join me over there. We're gonna have a lot of fun, sell some fun stuff and yeah, just hang out and have a good old time. Thank y'all so much for watching. I will see y'all in the next one. Okay, love y'all. Bye.